Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study program number two. Write a program to enter two integers and perform all arithmetic operations on them. Here, arithmetic operations consisting of five operators that is plus, minus, multiplication, integer division, and modular division. So, let us take two integer values. Here, I am going to take a is equal to int. And inside of the bracket, I'm going to write input and I'll ask the user to enter the value of A. End the double quotation mark, close the bracket and close the bracket for this integer. Now, let us take another variable of type integer that is B. And here I'm going to write once again input and inside the round bracket in a double quotation mark I'll ask the user to enter the value of p and the double quotation mark close the bracket now we are going to perform arithmetic operation first arithmetic operation sum so I want to perform addition of these two numbers for example a plus b so after performing addition the result will be stored in a variable called sum now I'm going to find out the difference I will declare one more variable called diff and is equal to a minus b. Now we will go for multiplication. So mul or product you can use. Here I will write a asterisk symbol b that gives us product of these two numbers. Now I will go for integer division. For that I am going to write di vi is equal to here a integer division that is forward slash by b. Now I'm going to use modulus is equal to a percentage symbol that is called modular division by b. This always returns the remainder and this integer division always gives us the quotient. Now let us go for printing all of these. Now I'm going to write here print statement print in a double quotation mark I'll write addition. is equal to end the double quotation mark and put comma here sum is the variable that is holding the actual value so here i'm going to write sum next i'm going to write the print statement print and here i'll write difference is equal to end the double quotation mark put comma and then write diff that is this variable Next, we'll go for printing multiplication that is product of these two numbers. Once again, I'm going to write print and here in a double quotation mark, I'll write product is equal to end the double quotation mark and here you will write EMUL. Now, we'll go for division. So print and in a double quotation mark, I'm going to write division. is equal to in a double quotation mark i'll write the variable name di vi now last one print and here i'll write modular division modular division is equal to in a double quotation mark and put comma then you can write the variable called modulus and close the bracket so once we execute this program it produces the following output so once we execute this program it will ask the user to enter the value of a so here i'm going to write enter the value of a will be printed for example here user enters 10 next after entering value of a next it will ask the user to enter the value of b so here it will be printed enter the value of b for example here i'm going to enter 5 now we are going to perform all these five arithmetic operations the first one is sum so it is going to write sum is equal to a plus b that is 10 plus 5 so 10 plus 5 is equal to 15 so 15 will be stored in a variable called sum so in the same way here i'm going to write difference so difference is equal to so that is 10 minus 5 that results in 5 now multiplication mul is equal to 
that is a into b that is 10 into 5 is equal to 50. Now division that is integer division di vi is equal to a is 10 integer division by 5. So 5 ones are 5 2 are. So quotient 2 is uh, stored in di vi variable. Next is modulus. Modulus is equal to modular division always gives us the remainder. So here 10 modular division by 5. Here 5 ones are 5 2 are. This 2 is quotient. 10 is exactly divisible by 5. So hence remainder is 0. Modular division always gives us remainder. Hence it results in 0. Now it is going to print addition is equal to addition is what sum so sum consisting of value 15 so similarly here i'm going to write difference is equal to so diff consisting value 5 next product is equal to product is 50 similarly here uh, division will be printed as it is is equal to divi holding value 2 in the same way here modular division will be printed as it is modular division is equal to so this modulus variable is holding value 0 now it's time to go for executing this program let us execute and check out the result here we have opened VS code. Here click on new file and here I'm going to write lab2.py. So py is the extension of Python file and press enter. Here you can observe we have created a file called lab2.py. So let us write a is equal to int and inside of the bracket I'm going to write input and you can see here. The beauty of this VS code is as soon as you type few characters of any function or variable, so it is going to give us the suggestion at the bottom. So hence it is very easy for us to code and you can press tab to get the input and as soon as you press round bracket, even closing bracket will get printed automatically. Let us write enter the value of A. Now I will take the variable called B is equal to int and then I'll write input and inside of the round bracket, double quotation mark, you write enter the value of B. So here I'm going to fast forward this so that we can save the time. Now press Ctrl S and it's a time for executing this program. Go to run and click on start debugging. Otherwise you can press F5, click on Python debugger and click on Python file debug currently active Python file. And here at the bottom you can observe you will get the output. Here you can see it is asking the user to enter the value of A. Now I'm going to enter 10 and press enter. Now it is asking the value of B. I'm going to press 5 and press enter. Here you can observe addition is equal to 15, difference is equal to 5, product is equal to 50, division is equal to 2 and modular division is equal to 0. I hope you understood this program. If yes, please write down in the comment box as understood. And if you want to check out this program, the link is given in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next video.